you are a Laravel developer and you are looking to place ads on your Laravel project or any banners or callouts, then I have a package named Laravel Smart Ads which exactly does that for you. And the package is available at GitHub. It is an open source package. And in this video, I will take you through of how we can install and use this package. So I have a blog named Five Balloons and it's a technical blog. I write technical articles in there and I'm looking to place ads around the post for the relevant products. So we will install this package on this project and we will see how to create and place ads using that. I have this uh, documentation in front of me. We will start with the installation. And this is the project that I have opened in VS Code. This is the terminal that I have fired up. So I'll run this command, which is basically to install this package. And that is composer require five balloons slash Laravel smart ads. So this downloads the package from the composer and places it into the vendor directly. That is done. And the next step that this package requires is uh, it needs to have a couple of tables in the database for it to store the ads and then we need the migrations of those tables in our project. So we will copy this command and paste it here and run that. What this command does it, it copies the migration of those two tables and places them in your database migrations directory. So once you have that, you can run php artisan migrate command to migrate those tables for you. And if you look into the database, now we have two new tables named smart ads, which is used to store the ads in your database. And another one is smart ads tracking, which is basically used to track the number of clicks your ads is getting. So now that we have these two tables ready in our database, we can move on to the next step, which is publishing assets. So this package comes with a little nice dashboard from wherein you can create ads, place ads and track the number of clicks that your ads are getting. So it needs the, the dashboard needs a couple of CSS and JS files to run. And this command copies those assets from the vendor directory and places them in your public directory. So now that we have run this command, we have a new folder named smart ads with a couple of CSS and JS files. And it is now in our public directory. Now we can move on to the next step, which is publishing the config file of the package. Although this step is optional, we will do that for the demonstration of this video and there we can publish the config file if we go into the config directory we can see a new smart ads.php file that is the config file of the package all right we are good to go and now if we are looking to access the dashboard of this package so you can go to the project url this is my local url and if we go to smart ad manager you can see uh, the package dashboard here and uh, along with that there are options to see your current ads and also create new ads. Before we start creating and placing ads there are a couple of more things that we need to do and which is basically we need to place a script file into our layout directory so that the javascript which is used to auto place the ads work fine so we I'll open my blade file which is the layout file and I'll paste which is already there I'll the JS file is already there so I'll just paste it again for the demonstration and to track clicks I need to have this little meta tag in my header of the layout file which I already have so I'll just paste it again for the demonstration here all right so now we are ready to go ahead to the next step which is creating ads so you see a little nice button here to create a new ad I'll go in here and I see that I can create two sort of ads one is HTML and another one is image ad to start with we will see how an HTML ad looks like we look into the blog 
and the post we have some nice space on the right side and the left side I want to be able to put an ad here so let's choose this place and create an ad for that so the ad name will be live via demos this is a nice little component library for live wire that I have created and I want the users to be able to know about this product so I'll place an ad for that so I have this HTML ready for this and this is the HTML of the ad and I'll paste that and I want this ad to be automatically inserted so there are two ways in which you can insert your ads into the web pages one is automatic and one is manual for for now we will see how the automatic ad insertion works so my ad position will be inside a HTML selector at the beginning and the HTML selector is right side bar this is a empty div that I already have in my HTML and the ID of that div is right side bar so I have provided the selector to the package to where to put that ad and you can also apply any custom CSS along with that so for now I don't want any custom CSS to be placed for this ad so I'm done with creating the ad and providing the position for that so I'll just to add and now if we go back fresh the page you see a little nice ad here so we are done with creating a ad and placing it on the right side of our blog next up we will go ahead and create another ad and now we will see the demonstration of creating an image ad so we will go to create new ad and I'll say single store Laravel this is a course to understand how single store works in Laravel and I have an image for that already in my desktop so I'll pick that image and I'm looking to place that ad somewhere here just when the article starts user should be able to notice that ad look into the HTML I have this div which is which contains whole of my blog and the class that is attached to that div is post content so I want my ad in the post content ad position is beginning and I want this ad to be on the right side of the content so I'll add a custom CSS which is float right one thing that we haven't yet put is the URL where the user should go when they click on the ad so this is the URL where the user can purchase this course from and I have attached that URL and we can also provide a alt tag in case the image is missing now that I have provided all the necessary information I can click on the ad and the ad is created and it should be there on the web page right there um, it looks like we need to add a bit of margin so we can go into the ads edit it and we can add one more CSS style that is we want a margin of 10 pixels so we'll update that we'll refresh it and now this has a light, nice margin now since we have seen how the automatic ad insertion works with this package let's look how the manual insertion works so we will create a new ad and name it Fathom this is for the Fathom analytics and I want my users to be able to know of this nice tool that I use to track the analytics of my website this again is an image ad I already have the image for this on my website on my desktop and and this is the referral URL where I want my users to go to and this is Fathom Analytics so since we are demonstrating how the manual insertion will look like I'll skip the automatic ad insertion part and we will add this so the ad is added to the database but we haven't yet placed it anywhere in the website since we haven't done the automatic insertion I want to be able to place the website by using some 
tag html tag so i'll copy this tag go back to the code editor and i want this ad to appear at the end of every post so i have this body and this is where my post content goes so i'll just pick this spot to paste this tag and now if we go back to the website refresh this page and we will see that we have this nice little banner on the end of the every post content so this is how the manual insertion works if for some reason you are not able to paste the ads through automatic route you can always choose the manual route route and paste those tags wherever you want in your web page all right uh, let's look into some more features that this package provides so if you go into the dashboard you will see that it provides a nice little click summary of uh, how many clicks the ads have received uh, today yesterday last seven days and this month and so this is just to have a better understanding of how your ad placements are doing and if you should replace or re change the positions of your ad below we have uh, a graph which basically now looks zero because we don't have any clicks on the ad so let's try clicking our own ads so let's say we go to this product and this ad received a click so that should appear on my dashboard and this is here we have one ad today like one click today and it shows how many of your ads received a click uh, this is for the summary and you obviously can go into the ads and um, pause them if you are looking to like let's say I don't want this ad to appear but I still want it in my database so I can just choose to pause it and now if I go back and refresh it the ad won't appear again here and until I turn it back on from here so so this is the nice pack so this is a package that I have developed and using on my live blog for for a month and it seems to be working fine for me working great for me and this is how it looks on the production website uh, we have a graph we can change uh, to see how many clicks the user and the ads are getting for a month and this is the summary of how my ads are doing and if we go into the production website and see how the ad looks here we have a nice little ad on the left and the right some ads here some um, little nice uh, some call outs here and uh, here so this is how I am using this package uh, to manage ads and place ads on my website the package is open source and available at github do check it out and um, if you face any issues you can you can put it in the issues section of the package and uh, you can always give out suggestions on how to improve it thank you i hope you like it